My sister-in-law's delusions nearly destroyed our family. Now I'm choosing to rebuild my life after trust was broken. I'm Sarah, 28F, and I've been married to Jake, 30M, for five years now. We have a beautiful daughter, Lily, 3F, who's the center of our world. Jake and I met in college, where we were both studying business. We hit it off immediately, bonding over our shared love for outdoor activities and classic rock music. After graduation, we dated for two years before tying the knot. Our relationship has always been solid. We communicate well, share responsibilities at home, and support each other's careers. Jake works as a marketing manager for a tech company, while I'm an elementary school teacher. We've managed to balance our work and family life pretty well, or so I thought until recently. Jake comes from a close-knit family. His parents, Tom and Linda, live just a few hours away and visit us frequently. They've always been kind to me, treating me like their own daughter. Jake also has an older sister, Rachel, 35F, who's been a constant presence in our lives since we started dating. Rachel has always been the family's free spirit. She's outgoing, spontaneous, and tends to make impulsive decisions. When Jake first introduced me to her, she was welcoming but also quite protective of her brother. She would often make comments about how I needed to prove myself worthy of being with Jake. At the time, I brushed it off as sisterly concern, but looking back, I should have seen it as a red flag. Go. Over the years, Rachel's behavior became more erratic. She would show up unannounced at our house, sometimes in the middle of the night, claiming she needed a place to stay. Jake always welcomed her with open arms, but I found it disruptive to our family life. Rachel would often overstay her welcome, leaving messes around the house and eating our food without contributing. I tried to talk to Jake about setting boundaries with Rachel, but he always defended her. He'd say things like, she's family, Sarah, we need to be there for her. I understood his loyalty to his sister, but I couldn't help feeling that it was at the expense of our own family's peace. About a year ago, Rachel lost her job as a graphic designer. She had been working for a small advertising agency, but they had to downsize due to financial troubles. Around the same time, her boyfriend of two years broke up with her. Jake insisted that we let her stay with us until she got back on her feet. I reluctantly agreed, thinking it would only be for a few weeks. Those weeks turned into months, and Rachel showed no signs of looking for a new job or apartment. During her stay, Rachel started to become overly involved with Lily. She would insist on taking her to the park, feeding her, and even trying to put her to bed. At first, I appreciated the help, especially since Jake and I both work full-time. But then I noticed Lily starting to call Rachel Mama instead of Aunt Rachel. When I brought this up to Jake, he brushed it off, saying it was cute and that Lily would grow out of it. But it didn't sit right with me. I started to feel like Rachel was trying to take over my role as Lily's mother. Rachel's behavior became increasingly strange. She would buy clothes for Lily without consulting me rearrange her room, and even try to change her diet. When I objected, Rachel would say things like, oh, I just thought this would be better for her. It felt like she was constantly undermining my parenting decisions. Things came to a head last week when I came home early from work due to a staff meeting being canceled. I found Rachel going through our personal documents in our home office. She was looking at Lily's birth certificate and our marriage license. So when I confronted her, she quickly put everything away and made up an excuse about looking for a pen. That night, I told Jake what had happened. To my surprise, he defended Rachel, saying she was probably just curious and meant no harm. So we got into a heated argument, with Jake accusing me of being paranoid and not trusting his family. He brought up how Rachel had been there for us when Lily was born, helping out during those first few sleepless weeks. He reminded me of all the times Rachel had babysat for us so we could have date nights. But I couldn't shake the feeling that something was seriously wrong. The next day, while Jake was at work, I decided to do some digging. I went through Rachel's belongings and found a journal. I know I shouldn't have read it but something told me I needed to. So what I found inside shocked me to my core. Rachel had been writing about how she believed Lily was actually her daughter. She claimed that she had a brief fling with Jake before he and I got together, resulting in a pregnancy. According to her writings, she gave the baby to Jake and me to raise because she wasn't ready to be a mother at the time. I was stunned. I knew this couldn't be true. I had carried and given birth to Lily. I remembered every moment of my pregnancy, from the morning sickness to the late night cravings. I had the stretch marks and C-section scar to prove it but the fact that Rachel believed this was deeply disturbing. I confronted Rachel immediately, and she broke down, admitting that she had been having these thoughts for months. She begged me not to tell Jake, saying she knew it wasn't real but couldn't help feeling this way. She talked about how seeing Jake and me with Lily made her realize how much she wanted to be a mother herself, and somehow her mind had twisted this desire into a delusion about Lily being her child. I'm at a loss for what to do. I don't feel safe having Rachel in our house anymore, but I'm afraid of how Jake will react if I tell him about his sister's delusions. I'm also worried about Lily's safety and well-being. Rachel hasn't done anything to harm her, but
but who knows what she might do if these delusions continue. I've been thinking about taking Lily and staying with my parents for a while, but I don't want to leave Jake in the dark. My parents live in another state, so it would mean recruiting Lily from her preschool and friends. At the same time, I'm angry that Jake's been dismissing my concerns about Rachel for so long. I feel like I'm stuck between protecting my daughter and keeping my marriage intact. I've always prided myself on being a strong, independent woman. Before this, the biggest challenge Jake and I faced was deciding whether to buy a house or continue renting. Like goes, and now I feel like I'm living in some kind of twisted reality show. I keep replaying all the little moments over the past year, wondering how I missed the signs that Rachel was spiraling. Part of me wonders if I'm overreacting. Maybe Rachel just needs help and kicking her out isn't the answer. But then I think about her looking at Lily's birth certificate and I feel sick to my stomach. What if she tries to take Lily away? What if she convinces Jake that her delusions are real? I've thought about reaching out to Jake's parents, but I'm worried they might take Rachel's side. They've always been protective of her, often excusing her behavior as just Rachel being Rachel. Plus, I don't want to cause a rift in the family if there's a chance we can resolve this quietly. I've also considered talking to Rachel's ex-boyfriend to see if he noticed any concerning behavior before their breakup. But that feels like crossing a line, and I'm not sure he'd even want to get involved. Am I, am I overreacting? Should I confront Jake with what I've discovered? Or should I try to get Rachel help without involving Jake? I'm scared and confused, and I don't know who to turn to for advice. Any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Update 1, I want to thank everyone for their advice and support on my original post. A lot has happened in the past two weeks, and I wanted to give you all an update. After much consideration, I decided to confront Jake with what I had discovered in Rachel's journal. I couldn't bear the thought of keeping such a big secret from him. And I realized that if our marriage was going to survive this, we needed to face it together. I sat Jake down one evening after Lily had gone to bed and showed him the journal entries. At first, he was in complete denial, accusing me of making it up or misinterpreting Rachel's words. But as he read through the pages himself, I saw the realization dawn on his face. Jake was shocked and devastated. He admitted that he had no idea Rachel was having these delusions. We spent hours talking that night, with Jake finally opening up about Rachel's history of mental health issues. Apparently, she had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder in her early 20s but had stopped taking her medication a few years ago believing she was cured. Jake told me about Rachel's struggles throughout her teenage years and early adulthood. She had always been a bit of a handful, but things got really bad when she was in college. She would go through periods of intense productivity, followed by deep depressions where she wouldn't leave her room for days. Their parents had taken her to countless therapists and psychiatrists before finally getting a diagnosis. For a while, Rachel had been doing well on her medication. She held down a steady job, maintained healthy relationships, and seemed to have her life on track. But about three years ago, she decided she didn't need the meds anymore. Jake and his parents had tried to convince her to stay on them, but Rachel insisted she was fine. The next day, Jake confronted Rachel. It was an emotional, intense conversation. Rachel initially tried to deny everything, but when Jake showed her the journal, she broke down. She admitted to having stopped her medication and acknowledged that her thoughts about Lily being her daughter were not based in reality. What happened next, however, took us both by surprise. Rachel revealed that she had been in contact with Jake's parents, Tom and Linda, for weeks. She had been telling them about her concerns regarding Lily's parentage, and to our horror, they had believed her. Jake's parents showed up at our house that evening, demanding answers. They accused me of keeping Lily away from her real mother and threatened to take legal action for grandparents' rights. It was a nightmare scenario I never could have imagined. Tom and Linda had always been kind to me, but in that moment, they looked at me like I was some kind of monster. So they brought up how Rachel had always wanted children, how she had been so involved in Lily's life from the beginning. So they even suggested that Jake and I had somehow tricked Rachel into giving up her baby. Jake, who was credit, stood up for me and Lily. He showed his parents Rachel's journal and explained the situation. So he told them about Rachel's bipolar disorder and how she had stopped taking her medication. At first, Tom and Linda were skeptical, but as Rachel herself admitted to her delusions, they began to realize the gravity of the situation. So the following week was chaos. Rachel agreed to check herself into a mental health facility for evaluation and treatment. It wasn't easy convincing her, but Jake and I made it clear that it was the only way she could continue to be a part of our lives. Jake's parents apologized profusely for their behavior, but the damage to our relationship was already done. I couldn't believe they had so readily believed Rachel's delusions without even talking to us first. But it made me question every interaction we'd had over the years. Had they always seen me as an outsider, someone who could never truly be part of their family? Jake and I decided it was best for Rachel to move out when she completed her inpatient treatment. We helped her find an apartment and set up appointments with a therapist and psychiatrist. Jake's parents offered to help Rachel financially until she could get back on her feet. Throughout all of this, I've been struggling with my feelings towards Jake. On one hand, I'm grateful that he stood by me and Lily when the truth came out. He's been supportive and understanding, doing everything he can to make things right. On the other hand, I'm still hurt and angry that he dismissed my concerns for so long, 
allowing the situation to escalate to this point. I keep thinking about all the times I tried to talk to Jake about Rachel's behavior, only to be brushed off. If he had listened to me earlier, could we have avoided all of this? And what about his parents? How can I ever trust them with Lily again, knowing how quickly they turned on me? We started couples counseling to work through our issues. But I'm finding it hard to trust Jake fully. He's been making efforts to rebuild our relationship, spending more time with Lily and me, and being more attentive to our needs. But every time I think about how close we came to losing our daughter because of his blind spot for his sister, I feel a surge of resentment. Lily, thankfully, seems largely unaware of the turmoil around her. We've been careful to shield her from the drama as much as possible. She stopped calling Rachel mama, which is a relief, but I worry about the long-term effects this might have on her. So will she remember any of this when she's older? How do we explain to her why Aunt Rachel suddenly isn't around as much? I'm still processing everything that's happened, and I'm not sure what the future holds for our family. Jake wants us to work things out, but I'm not convinced I can ever feel completely safe and secure in this marriage again. Every time the phone rings or there's a knock at the door, I feel a jolt of panic, wondering if it's Rachel or Jake's parents coming to cause more trouble. Part of me wants to pack up and leave to take Lily far away from all of this drama. But another part of me knows that's not fair to Jake or to Lily. Jake is a good father, and despite everything, I know he loves us both deeply. And Lily adores her dad, I can't imagine taking her away from him. I've thought about suggesting that we move to a new city to get a fresh start away from all the painful memories, but that feels like running away from our problems instead of facing them head on. Plus, we both have good jobs here, and Lily is settled in her preschool. Am I wrong for feeling this way? Should I give Jake another chance, or is it time to consider a separation for the sake of Lily and myself? How do I rebuild trust with Jake's parents, or should I even try? I feel like I'm at a crossroads, and I'm not sure which path to take. Update 2 It's been three months since my last update, and I wanted to share some significant developments in our situation. First, the good news, Rachel has been making progress with her treatment. She's been consistently taking her medication and attending therapy sessions. Her doctors say she's showing improvement, and she's even started looking for a job. Jake and I have maintained limited contact with her, mostly through his parents, who have been overseeing her recovery. Rachel's therapist reached out to us, with Rachel's permission to explain more about her condition. Apparently, Rachel's delusions about Lily being her daughter stem from a combination of her untreated bipolar disorder and some unresolved grief. The therapist explained that Rachel had actually suffered a miscarriage a few years ago, something she had never told anyone about. This loss, combined with her mental health issues, led to her fixation on Lily. While this information helped me understand Rachel's behavior better, it didn't erase the pain and fear we've been through. I'm glad Rachel is getting help, but I'm still cautious about it into our lives. Um, now for the more complicated part. Jake and I have been continuing with couples counseling, but our relationship has been strained. Despite his efforts to make amends, I found it increasingly difficult to move past what happened. The trust that was broken seems almost impossible to rebuild. About a month ago, during one of our counseling sessions, Jake revealed something that shook me to my core. He admitted that there was a grain of truth to Rachel's delusions. While he assured me that Lily is definitely our daughter, he confessed to having a brief fling with Rachel just before we started dating seriously. Jake swore that it was a one-time mistake, fueled by alcohol and poor judgment. He said he never told me because it happened before we were exclusive, and he didn't want to hurt me or damage my relationship with Rachel. He claimed that Rachel must have fixated on this incident, twisting it in her mind over the years, until it became the delusion about Lily. I was devastated. While I understand it happened before we were officially together— the fact that Jake kept this secret for years made me question everything about our relationship. How could I trust anything he said now? This revelation has also made me reconsider Rachel's actions in a new light. While her behavior was still inexcusable, I can't help but wonder if Jake's secret contributed to her mental breakdown. Untai. Ow. The guilt and confusion she must have felt, coupled with her untreated bipolar disorder, could explain why she latched onto the idea of Lily being her daughter. And ten. Jake's parents were equally shocked when we told them about this. They've been incredibly supportive of me and Lily throughout this ordeal, but I can see they're struggling to reconcile this new information about their son. Tom and Linda have been trying to make amends for doubting me, often offering to babysit Lily or bringing over home-cooked meals. While I appreciate their efforts, I still feel a distance between us that wasn't there before. As for Jake and me, we're at a crossroads. He wants to work things out, insisting that he loves me and Lily more than anything. He's begged for forgiveness and promised complete transparency moving forward. He's even suggested we move to a new house, saying he wants to give us a fresh start. But I'm not sure I can ever look at him the same way again. Every time he interacts with Rachel, even in the most innocent way, I find myself wondering if there's more to their relationship than he's telling me. I know it's not fair to Jake, but I can't help these thoughts. 
I've been considering a trial separation. I think I need time and space to process everything that's happened and decide what's best for Lily and me. Jake is resistant to the idea, worried that it will lead to a permanent split. But I feel like I can't make a clear decision while living under the same roof. We've talked about what a separation might look like. I'd stay in our house with Lily, while Jake would move into a nearby apartment. We'd share custody of Lily, with Jake having her on weekends. The thought of being apart from Lily for even a few days a week breaks my heart, but I also know that she needs her father in her life. I'm torn between giving our marriage another chance for Lily's sake and protecting myself from further hurt. The thought of breaking up our family breaks my heart, but staying in a relationship without trust seems equally painful. My friends are divided on what I should do. Some think I should give Jake another chance, pointing out how supportive he's been since everything came to light. Others think I should leave, saying I deserve someone who's been honest from the start. I've also been thinking about my own career and future. Before all this happened, I was considering going back to school to get my master's in education. Now, I wonder if I should put those plans on hold, or if pursuing them might actually help me regain some sense of control over my life. Lily, bless her heart, seems to be adjusting to all the changes better than I expected. She still asks about Aunt Rachel sometimes, but she's been enjoying the extra attention from her grandparents. I worry about the long-term effects all this might have on her, though. Will she grow up with trust issues? Will she resent us for breaking up our family if Jake and I can't work things out? Would appreciate any advice or perspectives you all might have. Has anyone been in a similar situation? How did you move forward? I feel lost and could use some guidance. Update 3. It's been half a year since I first posted about the situation with my husband Jake and his sister Rachel, and I wanted to provide a final update on where things stand now. After much soul-searching and numerous discussions with our therapist, Jake and I decided to go through with the trial separation. For the past three months, I've been living in our house with Lily while Jake moved into a nearby apartment. This time apart has given me the space I needed to really evaluate our relationship and what I want for future. During our separation, Jake has been actively working on himself. Um... He's been attending individual therapy sessions, taking parenting classes, and even joined a support group for families dealing with mental health issues. He's maintained limited, supervised contact with Rachel, always putting Lily's well-being first. As for Rachel, she's continued with her treatment and has shown significant improvement. She's found a part-time job at a local bookstore and has been slowly rebuilding her life. She's expressed deep remorse for her actions and has respected our boundaries regarding contact with Lily. Um, based loud, thank you. Late. Her therapist has been keeping us updated on her progress, and while she still has a long way to go, it seems like she's on the right path. Jake's parents, Tom and Linda, have been surprisingly supportive throughout this process. They've acknowledged their role in escalating the situation and have made efforts to repair the relationship with me. Um, they've been a great help with Lily, providing childcare when needed and ensuring she feels loved and secure despite the family turmoil. We've had some honest conversations about the past, and while things aren't perfect, I feel like we're moving in a positive direction. Um, as for Lily, she's been adjusting to the new situation better than I expected. We've been honest with her in an age-appropriate way, assuring her that both her parents love her very much and that the changes in our family are not her fault. She still sees Jake regularly, and we've established a consistent routine for her. She started seeing a child therapist to help her process everything, which seems to be helping. After careful consideration, I've made the difficult decision to file for divorce. So while Jake has made significant strides in addressing his issues, I realize that the trust between us has been irreparably damaged. The combination of his long-term dismissal of my concerns the secret he kept about his relationship with Rachel, and the overall trauma of the situation has left me unable to fully recommit to our marriage. Jake was devastated when I told him my decision, but he's been respectful of my choice. We're working on establishing a co-parenting relationship that puts Lily's needs first. It's been challenging, but we're both committed to ensuring Lily grows up in a loving and stable environment, even if it means we're no longer together as a couple. I've started seeing a therapist on my own to work through my feelings and learn how to navigate this new chapter in my life. It's been a difficult journey, but I'm starting to feel more confident in my decision and optimistic about the future. I've also decided to pursue my master's degree in education. Classes start next month and I'm excited about this new challenge. As for my relationship with Jake's family, we've reached a sort of truce. While I don't think things will ever be the same as they were before, we're all making an effort for Lily's sake. So Rachel has been allowed supervised visits with Lily, always with either Jake or his parents present. These visits are short and infrequent, but they seem to be going well. Looking back, I realize that this experience has taught me a lot about setting boundaries, trusting my instincts, and the importance of open communication in relationships. While the outcome isn't what I hoped for when I first got married, I believe it's the best decision for my daughter and me in the long run. Thank you all for your support and advice throughout this challenging time.
Your perspectives helped me navigate this difficult situation and gave me the courage to make tough decisions. I'm looking forward to this new chapter in our lives and focusing on healing and growth for both Lily and myself.